now you're double clicking with power. Wow. Hey, what's up? This is Kevin from CGR Undertow, and we've got another amazing Super Nintendo accessory to check out today. This is the Super Nintendo mouse. It's looking a little bit yellow. Another yellowing plastic issue with this thing, but yeah, this thing is a really cool accessory for the SNES. So this came out in 1992. It was uh, released as a bundle with Mario Paint, an amazing game. You get very creative with animation and music composition and stuff. But uh, yeah, it came with this mouse, which features two buttons, and it uses a ball to move around. You can even uh, open this up. Sometimes you have to clean this guy out. Uh, I'll get some gunk on that every once in a while. But yeah, it's a pretty standard mouse. It uh, you know hooks up to your Super Nintendo just like a controller would. The controller cord is a little bit short, so you kind of have to be sitting close to your console to use this. But luckily, the, it also came with a big gray hard plastic mouse pad kind of thing. So you could put that on your lap and use this on it. It worked pretty well. Um, don't have that, unfortunately. That's been lost. Uh, someday, we'll get another one. And here's a comparison with a boring old computer mouse. It has kind of a different button style than most, but definitely works out pretty well. Too bad it, you know, these weren't really in style when the Super Nintendo mouse came out. That'd be kind of a cool feature to have for some games, but yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward deal. Not unlike a PC mouse. So the Super Nintendo mouse didn't get a ton of support from developers. Um, there are quite a few more games that came out in Japan that support it. Uh, I guess in total there's over 60 games that can use the mouse, but maybe half of them were never released or just didn't come out in North America. And so, you know, of course Mario Paint was the main reason to use this. It did work for some shooters like Operation Thunderbolt, Revolution X, uh, some PC ports like Doom and Wolfenstein 3D, and a few other kind of games like Civilization, uh, Power Monger, you know, games that a mouse is actually really useful addition. But overall, there weren't a ton of games that really used this thing, uh, which is unfortunate. It's a really cool peripheral, and one of my favorite Super Nintendo tools, especially with Mario Paint. And that's just so much fun. If you look at it closely enough, it looks a lot like a robot. It's a top knot ponytail. Watch CGR undertow.